This Sunday, Rams quarterback Jared Goff will have an opportunity to live out a fantasy, to play in the Super Bowl. Unbelievable, man. But for the high school buddies who play in his fantasy league, well, the action for them starts Friday night. Oh. Whoa! Fly! Let's go! Oh. No. 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 Let the boys Let's play, go, baby! Let the boys yeah. play! If you told me Jared had the ball with a minute 40, my name is Will Perry. I got into the league by uh, chugging some Captain Morgan, and then I'm just friends with all these guys. But all I had to do was chug some Captain Morgan. Pretty fun. That's all I had to do. <laughs> so I'm Ryan Brown. Uh, I'm in the league because I'm from North Nevada. Um, it's where this league started. It's where Jared's from. It's where Anthony's from. Patrick. Uh, my name is Colton. Uh, I was invited into the league in year three. No, year six. We all went to bring Catholic together, and um, we're all on the same football team except for William here. He played soccer. My name is Nick Devere. Uh, I'm the champ, and uh, AKA Dirt. So my boys call me. I'm from uh, <laughs> North Nevada as well. I got in the league. Opportunity presented itself, and uh, I ate a frog, a live frog. Was it like they were like, hey man, you want to be in the league, you got to eat this frog? Hell yeah. I, yeah. And you did it? And I did it. <laughs> I, f I burned it first though. Fair. My name's Anthony Anello. I've been in this league since elementary school, middle school. Novato Boys, part of the OG. You guys have been playing fantasy football since you've been in elementary school? Like yeah. fifth, sixth grade, yeah. Oh, wow. Right when it first came out, yeah. What was the stakes? for this league, like, what did you get if you win and what'd you get if you lost? Well, as the winner, what you really get is just respect and, you know, just pride. That's all it is, and not coming in last. That's probably the biggest thing, you know, is just you're the farthest away from last, and that just means you're the best, so. And uh, what, what do you get if you come in last? What well, do you get? I was that, uh... The last place punishment was fighting rough and rowdy, and I came in last place. I'll be fighting Rough and Rowdy February 1st. I've seen spin punches, elbow punches, drunk ring girls, referee chokeholds, power hungry commissioners, shoes flying, blood splatter. It's basically pure carnage for four hours straight. Honestly, dude, my team wasn't even that bad. Like, I had a good start. Started out like four and two. And then I didn't win a game since. I never saw Colton slide into the bottom. I just didn't pay attention to the loser's bracket. <clears throat> and Colton was in the loser's bracket? Colton was in the loser's bracket. You know, I was actively trading, you know, trying to make my team better. I was up by point one. Took game was knee. over. Russell Wilson took two knees, one knee tied. Second knee, game over. I just felt like, you know, God probably just wanted me to do this, you know? Who had the number one overall pick? Any of you guys? And who'd you take? Todd Gurley. You didn't take Jared? No, no, Todd. Todd was, uh, he was just kind of sitting there. Realistically, we want to take the best players yeah. in fantasy first. Yeah. What do people not know about Colton? Uh, people don't know about Colton is that, you know, he's sneaky, especially in that ring. I think I had the sneaker mentality when I was younger in high school, so that was it, because I was shorter. He's real funny, real light type of guy. I'm definitely top five, in our, or uh, top maybe top three funniest in our league. Do you foresee there being any obstacles or issues for you being so sneaky and funny? Could that encumber you in any way? Um, Do you think that there might be opportunity for you to make a sneaky joke? Yeah. I think there definitely could be an opportunity to make a sneaky joke. Just throw one, uh, throw a little joke right in his ear. How do you anticipate that you guys will get ready to watch him fight on Friday night? Shit. Just prepare like he prepares, you know? <laughs> yeah. The way he light. runs, the way he jogs, the way he boxes. I mean, you gotta like, be in his head, man. You know he's gonna come up with the, the worst of circumstances. You gotta be ready to just, you know, be with him when it matters. He's got nothing to worry about. You know, there's no one out there in the world that can take down Colton. Uh, Colton's strongest man alive. You know, he's not afraid to show it. Have you ever been in a fight before? No. Oh, shit. So the Rams are gonna be playing on Sunday night. Yep. But on Friday night, you're pretty much gonna be setting the tone for the entire weekend. Yeah. What kind of pressure is that? Yeah, uh, once again, there's there's no pressure involved at all. It all really relies on Colton. Uh, I mean, he's got to win that fight. 
think it'll be a lot easier for the Rams to win if Colton gets a W, because then it just takes a lot of pressure off the whole organization. Now that the Rams won, I have some things to show them for the fight. They'll get them ready mentally, yeah. physically too. Mostly spiritually, so. There's absolutely no way that you can you can separate the Super Bowl from your appearance in Rough and Rowdy. They seem like one and the same to me. Yeah, the stars align in the same moment for our, me to go down to Atlanta, Georgia and fight in, uh, in this. And while at the same time he's down there, the same weekend, fighting for a Super Bowl. And I'm not going all the way there to lose. It's gonna be a good experience for both of us.